Hi, it's Dr. Alex Popovic and welcome back to my channel. I have had a few questions if I'm using iPad and so I wanted to talk about how I use the iPad and what applications I have on it. So let's dive in. I do have iPad, uh, it's a pro, not the latest, latest one that just come out, but the one prior to that. Uh, and my MacBook Pro uh, 13 inch and uh, iPhone and iPhone 11 Pro. And I use these devices for different things. For all of my um, knowledge management, file management, I use my computer. There is no better or quicker way of dealing with this. You can do it on an iPad, but it's not the easiest and it's not the quickest or more pro most productive. I tend to use iPad next to my computer on average uh, or just when I go and travel. So my choice of applications that I have there, it is related to what I use it for. So for me, the most productive applications that I use are a combination of things that I um, use for my productivity. And we talked about quite a few of these apps. Here on my dock, I have a drafts application. And this is where all my text goes in, majority of my uh, automatization goes in, all my tasks for Todoist that on that day I go into this and then they're processed in Todoist. So I will use this application for most of the text processing on my iPad as well as my computer. But I do mostly use it on my iPad and my iPhone. The next application is here and that's a Notion application. This is the application that runs my basically life. This is all the projects that I want to go, the projects that I have and the projects I've completed as well as different areas of my life and what I wanted to achieve in it. And when we're on that topic, the next one, the task management that I do is all done in Todoist. And the reason for it is because it's the quickest application. I could use Notion for it but it's not the easiest and it's not the quickest, especially on a go when I have to input the uh, tasks very quickly. Uh, because of that, I use that much more than uh, even uh, OmniFocus uh, that I used before. The other application over here is Fantastical. This is the stuff that runs my calendar. And in my calendar, I will uh, put all the appointments I have, but I also will plan today or the next day what I wanted to do um, and I block that time. I always leave a few um, things in between in case I'm running uh, behind but also I can do little things during that time. I don't have to have every single minute of my day put in a calendar. My email of choice is Park. Uh, at least at this stage. I have used previously Newton Mail but went away for a bit, uh, I stopped using it and I'm still a bit waiting uh, what's going to happen with this application. Um, Habitify is where I run my routines. I find that Todoist or even a Notion is not the easiest one to run my routines so I tend to do it all in Habitify and I'll have my morning, my um, day routines or my highlights and my evenings and the reason for it is because I can see how many I've done in each week very quickly and I can input that as my targets then into my notion. Uh, my password management of choice is over here and that's one password. I used to use uh, LastPass and I found that okay but lately it's been a bit glitchy um, and I didn't like that. I, I think personally that one password has a little bit better security because it always asks you for your password. Uh, it's not just once every 24 hours. Shortcuts is um, uh, running quite a few automatization things that I do on iPad and iOS. Uh, Safari is my internet browser of choice. 
apart from when I have to use something um, like, uh, um, I tend to use Brave, which is similar to the Google browser, um, that I can run certain things that don't run on Safari or are very problematic. Down Dog is a yoga application of choice and I do yoga as part of my daily routines anywhere between few minutes depending how much time I have to uh, 25 to half an hour every day. Dropbox is my file storage place of choice and it may not necessarily be because it's the best one the reason I use it is because doctors primarily use this. So it's easier to share files in this application rather than Google Drive, uh, OneDrive or iCloud Drive. And I have tried iCloud Drive, but it just was not the greatest for sharing. Also certain things like uh, your my desktop that I wanted to access from my iPad when I used uh, iCloud to do this, it was very slow, so I couldn't rely that the file would actually be there for me to use it. And this is pretty much it when it comes to my dock. The other notable application I do use is a Kindle. The reason I use uh, Kindle is because it's the easiest one and the cheapest books that I can access anywhere I go. Uh, Keynote uh, as my application of choice when it comes to presentations. I can export it into PowerPoint, but I think it's just easier and better application to use. The problem with us doctors is we do quite a few presentations and everyone expects you to have some sort of slides. So I do tend to use Keynote. Word uh, is similar thing by the, for the word processing and as a doctor, you pretty much have to have it. Uh, it's impossible not to have um, access or ability to use Microsoft Office. Uh, Google, basically, I use mostly Maps, uh, I, especially when uh, traveling overseas, when we can go back to that. Uh, it's much easier to use because the map is much bigger, so you can see in intersections much uh, quicker when they come through. I don't tend to use the Google Drive and uh, documents processing stuff, but I do have access to do that. I do use Proton Pump, which is here, which is European VPN service. It's mostly when I work um, in cafes, if I do do much of that, I don't tend to. Timery runs all my timers when it, for my time processing, but I sometimes struggle, to be honest, using any time uh, measuring applications. I tend to change things in my calendar to see how things went and then I write it in a journaling thing to see how things have actually gone that day and what I have learned rather than actually necessarily using timers. Uh, screens application I have talked in one of my previous videos but it's basically the best application you can have for not a lot of money that you can access your computer no matter where you are. Brain FM is the app here. Most doctors are poor at sleeping uh, or quality of the sleep and it's because we're often on call and our uh, sleep gets interrupted and our brains and patterns get used to it. I tend to use this application and I put it as a background noise. And the last one, that I'm going to mention is the good notes. When I do some of the courses um, that I take part of or writing any of the notes using the Apple Pencil, I tend to use good notes because I've had it for a while. It's also easy to export those notes then in a PDF and store them somewhere else that I want to store them. I tend to use that uh, primarily rather than writing and dictating the notes because I'm quicker with writing than I am with typing. Whether or not I can read my notes afterwards, sometimes that's uh, the problem, but it's a problem for most doctors, I believe. Anyway, as said, I am very targeted what I use my iPad for, and at the moment, most of the file processing and management, I don't tend to use it because it's just not quick enough. So at work, I will carry my 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro, but uh, for traveling and things when I don't do so much of the work 
uh, or processing, then I will use my iPad. Um, I do use it as a second screen and inputting things directly uh, into drafts uh, for whatever things kind of come up uh, as the day goes in the notes that I want to keep or tasks that, want, that I want to have or anything like that. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have any suggestions about the applications that you'd like me to go through, I will, um, I will do that and look at those applications. But just be mindful that I tend to use primarily iOS and macOS as a systems. Thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now. <laughs>